Well, as you saw in the previous video, I lined up all the little squares of the new crinkle glass to fuse. And then also down here on the bottom, this is the cyan dark dark red fusion. So the colors are pretty rich. I like what the crinkle glass does. It definitely takes it into another color spectrum that's deeper and richer than previous, I think. And I think the Aurora Borealis had the, had, the, had the award for being the richest color possibilities, but this crinkle seems to be go the next step. I'm looking at these right now underneath the diffuser, so I can't get real close. Let's see if I can focus up here. There you go. This is Splinter. And I, these top four right over here, I tried it with no fusing glass underneath. And you can see out of the four, the second one of these four clear ones, it fused up really nice and round. The first one to the far left did not, and the last two, with the dichro up, stayed in little squares. That's tolerable, but look what happens to the squares when you put them on black. They stay square. As far as... Uh, wanting to make an earring out of them with the texture up mm, either you like that look or you don't now all these other ones with the real splintered look to them that's the dichro facing down touching the black fusing glass underneath in other words and I really like it in fact I like it I like it better than the splinter rainbow three that's this is splinter crinkle Crinkle glass with the sprint with the splinter color. Now look at this one. This is aqua. This turned out gorgeous. Look at that one right there. That's really spectacular. Look at this. Let's see if the camera is going to come in. Eh, it doesn't like to go that close. These turned out spectacular. I really like the aqua. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And I did some clear ones, and the clear ones are just almost totally fine being by themselves fusing up round not bad clearly right now the aqua wins the best for the splintering needle like look next these are violet not bad pretty consistent I like them I like the violet violet took the took the clear pretty good as you can see the far right Turned round with dichro down. The middle one as a square was dichro up and it stayed pretty nice. So not bad. Down here we've got fusion in cyan dark dark red. This one we have clear on top and the bottom two rows is the fusion exposed. Pretty colorful stuff. Reminds me of reptile a little bit, and it's pretty colorful. But I really do like the uh, I like the crinkle. Crinkle's gonna go. It's gonna go far. I think it's pretty cool. I got seven colors of crinkle, and these are the three that I tried that are on coated on clear. So now I'm gonna go into the blacks, and this is gonna be real interesting because two of them are untextured. So, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.